Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. So today we're discussing fun things to do here in Columbia, Maryland. Maybe you're like me, coming from out of the area and just wondering what there is to do uh, for fun with the family. Um, so we're gonna try to cover some things today, uh, give you a few ideas and let's get started right now. Hey everyone, welcome back to the Living in Maryland channel where we discuss all things living here in the great state of Maryland. So if that's the kind of information you are looking for, then you are definitely in the right spot and we really appreciate you being here. And if you are thinking um, about making a move here to Maryland, if you're wondering whether it's the right decision for you and your family to consider purchasing a home here in Maryland, especially with everything going on in the marketplace, um, we absolutely love assisting people with that transition and just kind of being a sounding board and answering any questions you might have and I'm just kind of walking uh, you through what that looks like so you can decide if that's the right move for you and your family. So feel free to reach out however you feel most comfortable, whether that's by phone, text, or email. Days, nights, and weekends, we've got your back when moving here to the great state of Maryland. All right, so first thing I want to talk about is restaurants and kind of the food scene going on in Columbia. So um, there's so many restaurants and there's so many different places to try um, here in Columbia. It's one of the things that my wife and I love about it. We actually live uh, about 10 minutes away, just north in Ellicott City, but we find ourselves um, in Columbia all the time just because there's so much to do. They just do a great job of having, you know, a pretty, you know, pretty good entertainment scene, pretty good um, uh, eating out scene and food scene and just a, have a lot uh, to do for the entire family. So um, Columbia is awesome when it comes to uh, eating out and having, you know, a lot of places to, to try out. So obviously you've got the mall, you've got um, a ton of different restaurants there, uh, but I want to kind of hit on a few that we've tried, just kind of non-chain, uh, you know, places and stuff like that that have kind of been our favorite and uh, places that we find ourselves going back to. So uh, the first place is going to be near the mall, but it's just outside the mall, um, kind of in the, what's called the Merriweather District, which I'm going to hit on um, here in a minute uh, in the video as well, but it's called Cured. Um, and this is kind of a newer restaurant, but um, really, really good cocktails. So I really enjoyed their Manhattan um, and their Old Fashioned, which is kind of the, the two that I usually like to, to get when we go out. And then my wife has really enjoyed their other cocktails as well. So um, it's a really good place to kind of try some different uh, drinks like that if you're into that. Um, and then the food was really good and the service was really good as well. So this is, uh, you know, and it's, I think we spent between the two of us, you know, on a date night, we probably spent like 125 to 150 bucks. So it's not the cheapest place to go to, but the food is really good. The drinks are really good. And the overall atmosphere um, and experience was really good. So this is a place that I would definitely um, recommend trying. And as far as the food, it's more just like, you know, steak, um, chicken, uh, kind of more of like an American uh, kind of feel, but the, but the food was very high quality. Um, so that's definitely a place that's at the top of our list that I would highly recommend. Um, the next place, Royal Taj. So this is not really in the mall, it's a little further off in Colombia, but this is some of the best Indian food um, that we've had. Very, very good. Um, the staff and all the people working there are extremely friendly. Um, and I think that's one of our favorite parts, It's just that it's like just such a fun experience. Um, and the food doesn't disappoint, the drinks are very good as well. And it's very authentic from what I've um, heard just kind of talking to some you know people in the area as well. So uh, Royal Taj, definitely at the top of our list as well. All right, next is gonna be our favorite Turkish uh, restaurant in the area, and it's called Kazbar. Uh, this is right off Snowden River, and it's just it just never disappoints. So the food is really good. They have belly dancing, I think, once a week here, so they've kind of got a few entertainment things going on. Um, and it's just, just a fun experience, and the food is amazing. So um, another place that we would highly recommend. And then my wife and I, I think at the top of our list is Thai food. It's kind of always our go-to. Um, so it's a place called Doc Cow. Um, in the Merriweather District. It's a newer restaurant. It's a newer overall um, space right there near the mall. So this is another area that I would check out and the Thai food here is amazing as well. So if you like that kind of food, definitely make sure you add that to your list. All right, number two, wanted to mention the shopping in Colombia and some of our favorite spots that we really enjoy just because Colombia has so much, but some of our favorites um, at the top of the list, I'd say is gonna be Trader Joe's. My wife uh, absolutely loves it here. Um, it's been growing on me uh, the last several months. So I was there recently and I just find myself, you know, just kind of walking each and every aisle and kind of scanning and looking for, <laughs> for what I want. And I don't do this in other stores. I kind of walk into the store and I know what I want 
and I go to those spots. But with Trader Joe's, I just can't help myself from just kind of hitting up every single part of it just because they, uh, you know, have so much good stuff. So Trader Joe's uh, right nearby there is Costco. Um, so that's, you know, another, another good one, you know, with the more affordable gas, especially during these times. Um, so having a Costco nearby and right in Columbia, um, is huge target. Got to have a target. My wife <laughs> absolutely loves this place. Um, so there's one, and uh, I think there's a second one in Columbia too, but there's at least one. Um, I know there's another one in the Ellicott city kind of strip that kind of borders Columbia. So no shortage of targets nearby as well. And then there's a Whole Foods as well, kind of right in the mall area. So um, if you like, you know, hitting up uh, organic uh, spot like that, uh, Columbia's got you covered in that regard as well. All right, next, uh, wanted to mention Columbia Mall and the Meriwether District. And I kind of mentioned these together just because they're right next to each other, um, right kind of in that general mall area. So, um, but this is always a fun place to go to just because there's so much to do. So as I mentioned before, the mall is going to have a lot of places to eat. You know, they've got like a cheesecake factory. They've got P.F. Chang's and a handful of, you know, kind of your normal chain restaurants. But a few of our favorites uh, outside of that is going to be Seasons 52. And I think that's a chain as well, but it's not something I see around as much. Um, you know, when I kind of travel around. So this is a really cool place where um, just really good, you know, healthy, you know, food. And it's it's been, you know, kind of a place that we keep going back to. Um, so that's really good. And then you've got Walrus Oyster and Ale House, which just has, you know, really good seafood, uh, really good drinks. So that's a place that we've um, been to several times and it's, it doesn't disappoint. And then you've got Uncle Julio's right there in the mall area as well. So whenever we're feeling like, you know, chips and salsa, margarita, when we're having that kind of night, um, that's a fun place to go to as well. And then they've got some fun stuff to do, you know, right nearby there in the mall area as well. So they've got an AMC theater. So we've been kind of back to the theaters, um, you know, here recently seen a few movies. So that's always a, a fun time and it hasn't gotten too busy. So it's kind of nice having, you know, uh, almost that whole theater to yourself. You've got main event. So this is just a really cool spot, you know, family friendly where you can go in there, you can bowl. Uh, you've got a ton of different arcade games. It's kind of like a, it's very similar to a Dave and Buster's. So it's just always a fun spot to go to as well. And then you've got Cold Stone and a, a number of different, um, you know, kind of places to hit up for dessert as well, ice cream and stuff like that. So um, always a fun spot uh, if you want to go to the mall area, uh, very centrally located within Columbia as well, right off 29. Um, so always a fun spot to hit up. And then right next to the Columbia Mall is going to be the Meriwether District. And this is just a really cool place. I, it's very new. They're still building it up. Um, so it's just a it's just a really fun spot, you know, for the whole family as well. So they've got, um, you know, some pretty cool open spaces right there. You got Color Burst Park where they've got, you know, a spot where the kids can just run around and um, hang out. They've got kind of like a little water fountain area where their water uh, shoots up and kids are always, you know, when the weather is warmer, kids are always there running around in the water and parents are just bringing their chairs and just kind of lounging and hanging out. Um, they do provide some chairs, but those get filled up pretty quick. So people are just kind of bringing their own stuff and just kind of hanging out. So it's just a really cool vibe right there. Um, that's right there in that area is where I mentioned the, the Thai food restaurant is, Doc Cow. And then you've got the Charmery, which has some really good ice cream. So when you're there to make sure you check that out. And then you got Busboys and Poets and a few other restaurants coming. Um, so it's just a cool spot to to hang out. Um, and then right there in that area as well, you've got Meriwether Post Pavilion. And I've talked about this a lot in my other videos, but this is one of my favorite spots because right here in Howard County, you don't have to go into Baltimore. You don't have to drive down to DC or Northern Virginia. Um, you can come right here to Meriwether and just see some really big, you know, big names they bring in. So as far as concerts and um, stuff like that, they do wine in the woods, they do beer festivals right here um, at that Meriwether area as well. So just a lot to do right there in that mall area between Columbia Mall and then uh, the Meriwether District, which is basically right next door. They kind of, they're kind of almost all one spot right there in that area. So um, definitely a cool, you know, definitely a couple cool places to check out. Make sure you add it to your list. All right, number four is gonna be visiting Columbia's Three Lakes. These are owned and operated by Columbia. Um, and these are just all, they're all a fun time to get out to. Uh, you got Lake Elkhorn, uh, Wild Lake, Lake Kinnamacundy, they all have paved uh, walking trails around them. So it's just, you know, always a good time to, 
to get out and you know you've got tons of trees in Colombia, so it's just always you know just a great scenery and and kind of fun fun spot to hit up so we try to get out there as much as we can so lake kitamakundi might be my favorite i always tell people uh park in the whole foods parking lot and then you can kind of walk right out there um, and it's just kind of a really cool scene you know you've got like a little pier there which the other two lakes don't have so you can kind of walk out on that and you're just surrounded by water um, so it's just a just a fun fun spot to hang out they kind of bring some musicians in there from time to time and they always have a lot going on there. They've got a really cool fountain. So I would definitely check out those three lakes. And then I will mention a fourth lake, which is Centennial Lake, Centennial Park. So if you want to look that up and you want to hit that up as well, that's actually in Ellicott City, but it's right on the border um, where Columbia meets Ellicott City uh, on 108 there. So this is a really cool spot as well. It's a Howard County maintained, owned and operated park, um, and it's massive. So if, you're, if you really enjoy getting out um, and being around you know, the water, and you know all the trees and kind of that park setting, I would definitely check that out as well. And then also just wanted to mention Columbia Association. So I had mentioned that those three lakes, Wild Lake, Lake Oldhorn, and Lake Kitamakundi are owned and operated by Columbia. Um, so basically what that means is uh, Columbia Association owns and maintains those lakes. And the way that they get funding is through what's called the Columbia Tax, or you'll hear it called CPRA. Um, so about 85 to 90% of Columbia um, is going to pay basically a city tax to Columbia. So you've got your traditional property taxes, and then you've got an additional uh, Columbia tax, you, you know, ranging between a thousand a year to two thousand a year, depending on the size of the home and the assessed value. So this is how Columbia gets their funding for the lakes, for all the, the pathways and the walking trails that they have throughout the area, and then all the amenities that Columbia provides. So uh, if you have any questions on that, feel free to reach out and I can send you more information and kind of go into more detail, but just figured I would kind of mention that. So if you are considering Columbia, if you're considering purchasing a home in Columbia, um, just make sure to kind of inquire and look into that additional tax because it is something that's going to be applicable in almost all of Columbia. But there is a lot of value that they add. So they, you know, they've got the lakes, they've got tons of trails all throughout. Um, there's a map that I can actually include here in the description. So there's a map that kind of shows you where all the trails are. Um, and Columbia just does a great job. If you like being outdoors, if you like getting outside and, um, you know, kind of doing that kind of stuff, um, Columbia does a great job and they provide all that and it's funded through that city tax that almost all of Columbia has. There's a few exempt areas um, that don't pay it, but almost all of Columbia does. All right, last but not least, wanted to mention a few fun things to do here in the area. So you have a few ideas when you get here of things to try out. So number one is gonna be Stumpy's. It's ax throwing um, here in the area in Columbia. So they opened up, I think two to three years ago. So it's a newer spot. Um, just a really fun environment. They've got, you know, some, you know, beer on tap, um, some drinks, and just a really cool, you know, kind of scene right there. So I would definitely recommend that. All right, next would be Breakout Games. This is a really fun escape room right here in Columbia. They do a great job. Um, the staff is really friendly. So I would highly recommend that you check that out as well. Um, and then Bland Air Park. So this is a spot that I always take uh, my son to. It's a really fun, fun, big park um, by Howard County. So um, if you've got kids, they've got at least three or four different playgrounds for you know various ages. Um, so that's always fun to check out. If you can get there during the week, it's not quite as busy. Um, so I would try to check it out then, but the weekend's always fun too. There's just gonna be more families, more kids, and just kind of more going on. Um, there. I think it's a total of four to five phases. They're working on the final phase now, adding, you know, pickleball courts, um, some open spaces, some shaded area. Um, so they just have a ton going on here. They've got walking trails. They've got state-of-the-art baseball fields, lacrosse, and football fields. So just a really cool spot to check out that I would highly recommend. And then checking out some breweries in Columbia. Columbia's got a ton of them, um, but just wanted to mention a few of our favorites. Black Flag, Hysteria, um, and pub dog. So if you want to check that out, if that's something that you like to do, um, then I would highly recommend checking out some of those. Pub dog is going to be the most affordable. Um, so if you're looking to save a few bucks, I would definitely check that out. They've got some good pizza as well. Um, so if you want to check out some breweries here in the area, Columbia has no shortage of that. And I would highly recommend those three. All right, everyone. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something new. If you ever need anything at all or have any questions, feel free to comment below or reach out and we will see you at the next video.